Hi and welcome back. My name is Meng and today I'm making a very special watch case for one of my relatives. So let's get to it. Please be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more content like this. I started with cutting a couple of thin quarter inch boards. Then I marked the areas that needed to be slotted on the table saw to create the square honeycomb to store the watches. I used a dummy scrap to measure the tolerances between each slot or row and followed this as I moved on to the next set of boards. I attached the boards facing inward to the slots in no particular order. I just needed them to fit loosely before hammering them in with a rubber mallet, as this helps with aligning and squaring up the boards. Next for the box, I'm using pine boards that I got from my local home center and I cut them down to make uh, side panels for the case. Here I'm cutting a face for the bottom board to seat so it sits flush and squares each panel. Then I'm rotating these boards to cut a cavity. Then I cut about 2 inches off each board to frame and hold the glass in place. I moved the glass in position and then I glued up the frame. This was such a big build so I used framing clamps to help apply more pressure to each side to get more of an even clamp. So I let that sit overnight and got back to removing the clamps the next day.
Here I'm gluing up the side panels and it had some square stock left over. So I CNC'd squaring jigs to line up my boards. Here again, I'm using the framing clamp to apply even pressure all around the sides. I wanted to be able to lock the case, so I found a half mortise chest lock that went on perfectly for this case. I used the CNC and the chisel to create a cavity to fit the mechanism. I also found some nice self-adhesive velvet contact liner for the backing. I glued up the bottom faces and then I wedged the bottom board in between the sides and corners as best as I could. Then I nailed about every inch or two to tack them down. I wanted to include a plaque with a quilt to really bring this all together. I set this square honeycomb on the CNC and milled the center down about 3 quarters of an inch to seat the plaque. And also the use of the center pockets could be used for extra tools or accessories. To prep for a staining, I'm using 320 grit to evenly sand down the rough areas and faces of the case.
I like the idea of a double wall to create more contrast and help the structural integrity of the case. I bought a 30 inch hinge to make the bottom case to the top door. I made sure to pre-drill before I screwed in the hinge. I initially had other ideas but for simplicity I really liked the look and the outcome of the hinge. Complement the velvet backing, I bought some black leather pillows to help snug each watch. By far the most sentimental project I've ever made and I'm glad to have taken the time to really give it my all. If you guys made it this far, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified on the latest content. Stick around and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!